Hey everyone, welcome to Overlord, the new map in World of Tanks 9.7. I'm taking a look at it here on the test server, and so far from what I've seen, it does look pretty neat. And you'll have to excuse my clumbiness, clum, clumsiness with the free camera here, it's my first time using it. So I am a little bit clumsy with the controls here, but uh, take a look at this. This looks very nice to me. You've got buildings burning up on the, on the shore there, all kinds of landing craft, and tank traps, and everything else along the shoreline see all the way down there and let's take a look at the mini map here uh, so as you can see there isn't one team that spawns on the bay on the beach and one that spawns up on the land like there kind of would have been historically instead you have two essentially mirrored balanced bases so one on the north one on the south and uh, I think that's a good thing because it wouldn't make much sense to me if uh, if you had say a T-95 it wouldn't be fair if there's a T-95 spawning on the beach that had to drive all the way up all the way up over there up that hill before the enemy team got to the ridge line. That would be pretty crappy. I'll keep the map open just so you guys can see where I'm at. Uh, but uh, let's move along here. All the landing craft and tank traps and everything laying everywhere and a lot of them wrecked. This one still looks like it could almost float. <laughs> it is a very nice looking map though. Just my first impression looking at the reflection in the sand and the water. The muddy sand that that is very nice looking in my opinion and i i like it <laughs> but uh not a whole lot of obstacles up on the beach keeping in mind you won't be spotting down here these rocks even look nice damn <laughs> i'm admiring a pile of rocks uh so let's go ahead over to the green base here so here's the spawn area this is about where you would spawn i think the artillery in this particular battle which is right there had spawned over around here somewhere. Don't mind the plane, for example, that's frozen in the sky. I've got the replay going slow just so it doesn't end on us as we're looking around. Um, let's let's zoom out and take a good look at the whole map. Uh, it's a little bit foggy off in the distance, but that's fine. So looks like you can spawn off in your base, head down to either the beach, which I imagine a lot of stuff like uh, tank destroyers might do. You're going to have a lot of people probably trying to hang off the edge of cliffs, shooting at tanks below. It'll be awesome if you see a few tanks jump off of this huge cliff onto a tank that's sitting down here. <laughs> That'd be pretty epic, and I can't wait to see that. Um, bunkers all the way down, so you can have a little bit of cover. Got some turrets mounted on top of these bunkers here. Very neat. Ooh. And move them back up. You can also move along to the south here, or or growth rates of the middle. There's a lot of different avenues of attack. I'm very curious to see what people will really want to choose, but I think this is going to be one of those maps that is really dominated by light tanks a lot and, and mediums. Um, heavies are going to probably be moving along these little bit of a whoops, a little bit of hills here. <laughs> if you can imagine being a heavy tank or any kind of tank really driving along here, you're going to have some cover. You're not going to be able to be spotted by the enemy so well, but you're going to of course have those brave light tank drivers that are going to from either side, caress this little ridge here and fly over and peek just over top of this just to see your whole enemy team sitting back here. And if you're not careful, potentially your artillery. For example, those artillery pieces, they don't have a very long firing range. They might uh, have some issues there. Ooh, look at this bunker. Wouldn't that be scary if the guns were operational in the game? Can we go in? We're going in. Okay, this is not a good view at all. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Camera. So this is what the inside of the gun looks like. <laughs> all right, so back to business. You're going to have your heavy tanks probably rolling down here, peeking around the corner, shooting at each other. Uh, maybe a more aggressive position up here. That might even be more of a medium thing, to be honest. Uh, oh, there's the edge of the map right there. You're going to get yourself pinned in quite a bit if you start parking right there because your avenues of escape are going to be back over the hill or back down the road and both you're probably going to get shot in the butt at if the enemy's over here looking at you and he won't be very far away and he'll be stuck sitting very still um, so let's take a look where's the edge of the map there it is a few rocks here and there um, a lot of these are just hay bales though piles of, of straw farming materials a few houses that one looks like it is probably well maybe not I don't know if that's destructible or not um, that's one problem with the free camera. You can't test that kind of stuff. Uh, but a lot of these buildings, such as this one and the church sitting on top, 
definitely are not destructible. And this is the, I guess that's the church. Must be a church. It's got crosses on it. Let's go see what it looks like inside. Okay, so there's no interior decorating going on here. <laughs> Alright, so moving on. There's the enemy's base right here. Oh man, I can't wait to see tanks jump off this this cliff onto other enemy tanks. But uh, I imagine you're going to have tank destroyers probably... Hmm, if I was a tank destroyer, I'd either be potentially moving up to here, if need be, up to this ridge. Maybe if the enemy tanks are coming around that corner right there, um, you could just uh, snipe them as they come around here. And you will have a perfect ledge to back up around. And if they get tracked and there's several of you up there, then of course they are very dead. I wonder what that hitbox is like. Can I get a tank like an ELC stuck in there? Very easily. Woo, okay, there we go. Let's not fly into the trench. Then looking at the higher land up here. Man, I don't know. I have no idea where I'm going to go in my first battle. Unless I'm thinking if I was in my T-62A or whatever medium tank, where would I go? I think coming from that side, um, following the mob the first few battles, <laughs> let them decide. But I'm thinking it's going to be a lot of heavies and TDs in the lower part and probably lights and mediums towards the, the top part. Um, artillery is probably going to like the idea of sitting on the beach, such as over in that corner. Uh, that'll give them a really nice shot at pretty much everything else on the beach and everything up top. However, it's going to leave them pretty open to attack. And if they get spotted out there, they're pretty much dead. They don't have much cover at all, unless you were fortunate enough to be hiding behind these rocks. Firing over top of them onto enemies coming approaching over in this direction, uh, but still, it's going to be a reasonably tough shot, especially if the enemy is hiding in here, which they quite likely will be. And of course, you can always be spotted from other places, such as up on the ledge straight ahead, or if your team starts falling along here, or if a sneaky scout gets through. It just drives by, you'll get spotted. Uh, so, moving... Hmm. This is really up for uh, debate here, isn't it? But I'm looking forward to this map. There is quite a bit of cover. It's going to really encourage people to drive faster vehicles. Not that they have much choice. Once they get to the map, they're stuck with it, regardless of what vehicle they're in, of course. But um, this little bowl in here, it's like a little bowl. It's got hills all around it. Scouts are going to be brave and come flying through here. It's going to be like the center of Himmelsdorf, I think, the equivalent of it. Um, same with the other fields. I don't think they're going to get used too much, but you'll have your masses attacking through it. There's lots of chances for, lots of opportunities for flanking, of course. Um, if you can get forces coming down this road right in front of us and around this corner with any significant numbers, any, any tanks stuck in the middle of the enemy team are going to be in trouble if they can't get out of there but uh, hopefully this is a good overview for you guys I'm going to keep it relatively brief just because I don't see a whole lot of hmm I, I don't see my I, I can't plan out my tactic yet <laughs> I have to see what how everybody else plays that and that'll determine how I play it because uh, I'm going to have to counter the enemy team and however they do their movements so that will be I think rather neat indeed. It is a beautiful map though and I'm looking forward to playing it and hopefully you guys enjoyed my my rambling on here with a look on the new map and uh... Ooh. They're shooting at each other! <laughs> See you next time guys. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>